Hey y'all, well good morning. So we are not in the garden today, but we are gonna go on an exciting little field trip today to get something that I have needed for a long, long time. So join me today as we go shopping and complete a little project. All right, let's go. The wisteria is beautiful here, but is very, very expensive. Okay, so this is the first thing for our project. These garden borders, and they're 18 by 16, and they're 547 each. So I am gonna pick up four of those. Okay, so we got our little fence panels and our 30 pound fishing line. And so that cost us $26 even. The most expensive was the fence pieces that were $5.47, but the fishing line was only $2.42. So here is our total. Hopefully we can prevent some little critters from eating our plants. Okay guys, so we got all of our um, things that we need for the deer fence. So we are going to flip this camera around and get started on the fence. Now, I can say this, we've never done this before, but we did see at Kim's house with Backyard Blends by Kim, her deer fence. So hopefully this will work to keep these little deer from eating all of our hydrangeas. So these are some of the things that we're gonna be using for this deer fence. We've got a couple of trellises that we've already had those in the past. And we got a couple of these little uh, fence panels here. We've got some old clippers and the fishing string. So we're going to work on setting up a little deer fence. I mean, it's not like gonna be a tall fence, but just enough to kind of make them to kind of be scared to go in this area. So we're gonna do this little flower bed here. And then on the other side, we're gonna do this little flower bed here. So these are our beautiful hydrangeas and also our daylilies and the deer just keep eating them. So hopefully this will help with this deer problem. All right, guys, so let's get started. The first thing I think we need to do is to measure from here all the way down through here. And we'll kind of see how long this is so we can see how far to space out these little ones. So we can do that first. All right. Okay. Oh, just barely. Just barely. It doesn't fit all the way. Um, so to right here, it's twenty-five feet. Twenty-five. So feet. I would maybe here let go some. Okay, mine's let go. One, two, three. Little over three feet, so it's a it's a little over twenty eight feet. Okay, and we have four of those. Will you want to leave this out? That way we'll know where to measure. It yeah, to. I just gotta. I think I broke it. Oh no! <laughs> well, because I pulled it out too far. Okay. So you said just leave it out. Yeah, we'll just leave it out. Okay. So these in themselves will take up, I think these were like three foot panels. I'll let you take one. And then we'll maybe, we'll do one here. And then we can come back and get them straightened when we get finished. Okay, so yeah, that's like 18 inches for this. So then we want to go to, well, because it would be seven feet if it's four, but I know these are 18 inches, so that's mm -hmm. one foot doing math and I really <laughs> my brain is too tired for that um so we've got 18 36 and oh, go ahead and put one down at the end 
Yeah. Are you wanting to come out that far, Mom? Mm hmm. I do. I do want to come out that far. I mean, in terms of in the grass? Yes. Okay. And then we'll put this one here. So kind of line it up with the house and then line it up with that one there. You need like one of those laser levels or laser mm -hmm. pointers. This side of the house is really bad though. <laughs> There's so many roots. Oh, the pine trees. Oh, I got it. There's so many pine tree roots right here. That looks good, Mom. Yay. Okay. And then what we could do is eventually I could come back and reshape the, the, bed. the bed. Yeah. We'll have to do some touch-ups. So this one we set up here. We kind of did it level with the house here. And then we wanted to kind of match it with that one that's there. So we're going to run our fishing line through here. And then we're going to run it all the way through the front. So now we have to connect all this fishing line. And we'll have to come back and reshape this bed. Probably use our little edger on that. Get a nice clean line for the summer. Maybe we can do like a line up here and then a line at the on, bottom on one. this one. Mm -hmm. Like on that. Or on this. Yeah, right there. Right here? Yes. Okay. And that little notch right there will kind of hold the, okay. the line. So go ahead and do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe it'll be just enough that Earth say, oh, what happened here? Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work, then we get something taller. And then we'll go to the next one. Should I do one whole line or just cut it? So I wouldn't cut it. I probably would just maybe weave it, if you can, through there. And that way the less cuts and there's less, you know, you can kind of make it a little bit stronger. Like that. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And we'll just go to the next one. This fishing string was like really cheap. Well, There's nice. like some of them that's more expensive, but this one was one of the cheaper ones. Not going too fast. Mm -mm. And then maybe twist it back through. As you head towards the back. There you go. No, no, no. Like head towards the back. Okay. There you go. And we'll head to this one. Well, you really can't see it though. <laughs> and this is like one of the little trails. They come right through here. And you know. This area. With this end piece, Mom, we could actually connect it higher. Oh, yeah. That is true. And then that way, just to make sure. You know, yeah, we'll need a higher one. And we'll need a lower, lower one, one. Because look at this. These are hydrangeas, but they keep them mowed. This was like a gallon container. This one was too. But they eat them so fast that they can't they can't grow. Okay, so we're going to tie this up. You know what we can do now? We can actually come back and do our second line. Oh, yeah. Just keep it connected. Keep it connected, yeah. Okay. They'll probably keep it stronger that way. I didn't think about that until just now. So then we're just going to kind of pull this and go back the other direction. I'll let you go in front of me. Okay, sorry. Our neighbors are probably thinking like, what are they doing? Our neighbors love the deer in their yard. Run it through like a lower run. A lower one? Yeah. That one may be a little bit more difficult because it's tighter. 
like the hole that opens yeah, are tiny. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it to fit in so there. So maybe just go through here and then just kind of pull it down lower. We're just going to be kind of. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. Yeah, it goes down a little bit lower. Yeah. Okay. I think it's enough to trip them up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might give it a little bit more strength if you devil in it up like that. There we go. There we go. And the nice thing about these, if they get like loose, we can just pull them to make them tighter again. Uh, I went past ours. It's fine. Well, I think it is starting to mesh with. Oh, yeah, it is. That's okay. We can just try this first. Okay. And if it doesn't work, we can always come back and add another line and just individually tie it. Do you think we need to go up to the white post there? We can. Yeah, we might want to because they keep mowing over those um, daylilies. Look, look, look at them. They have eaten every top off of these daylilies. Ooh, these bees. Like that? So mm -hmm. kind of... Maybe not around this one. Maybe just around the big pole. Yeah. There we go. And then come back out with it and then we'll have like a double a double line and then we can tie it off there well that works out pretty good yeah i think i would trip on it <laughs> i think i almost trip on it right now okay so you're good with me cutting it there yeah Those are the worst. I know, we should have brought our stronger ones. I know, out they're here. not Felcos, but I didn't want to use some nice Felcos on those. Let's see. Okay. Let me cut that short, Mama. Yeah, you can cut that back. I look a little neater. Not very visible, though. No, looks nice. I know you can't see it at all. We just have to let everybody know in our family not to come out here at night and try yeah. to... Well, they wouldn't walk in the flower beds anyway, but... I gotta remember. Yeah, we have to remember. We'll be be, bop be bopping out here one day to weed and fall into mm -hmm. it. So I gotta come and edge all this. You know, you almost could... Because it's that fishing wire gets pretty tight. You could almost do without two of these and just do one in the middle to kind of give it some strength. But yeah, this will be a little bit more tighter, like, so it won't fall down as much. Yeah. I can't believe we lost all the volume to that one video. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, so we're going to string this up higher. They're not eating our alliums, though. The serendipity alliums. Do you think that's too? No, I think that's good. Okay. You know what we may want to do in this area, though? It's like what you're doing here. Maybe do one here mm -hmm. and one there. Yes. Because think about they could put their heads right in yeah, this. Yeah, and get that one. And get that one, yeah. yeah. I know okay. last year we had two does. Mm -hmm. They are both mamas. And they I'm sure they were having their babies help them eat all this. Yeah. <laughs> These roses, they kept plowed down. This was like their um, little salad bar in this corner. I mean, this may not do anything. They may just be like, whatever, I'm getting in here and I'm eating this stuff. I've seen some people put these little um, lights in their flower beds. And the lights are... Um, 
like bouncy so they move oh. and that kind of scares them away you know that's kind of cute be like fairy lights mm -hmm. so we may get some of those i've seen them on amazon yeah well you know mary faith always wanted us to have little a fairy little garden lights. that would be cute okay mama so i feel like this side is pretty secure here yeah i mean they've got what do we got four lines of of the fishing wire and it goes a little taller yeah whereas this one is more of just a tripping mm -hmm. that's more of just a tripping kind of thing one. they learned how to jump across it that's a different story so as you can see here we can talk about which plants are deer resistant the boxwoods they don't mess with those the alliums they don't mess with those daffodils don't mess with those but they love the um hydrangeas the they, they love roses, they love pastas, they love daylilies. Favorite, favorite little munchy plants. Y'all, look how pretty this is. Don't you love it when you just find little things like this in your garden? It just came up all by itself. And look, it's got all these little seeds for next year. I need to take these and like sprinkle them out different places little tiny seeds put them over here for next year there we go isn't that pretty this is the next flower bed we're going to be working on we don't have any more of the little um fence pieces so we're going to use the taller ones and if we need to go back and get some more we can but we're going to get started with these because we have a very special project that we're going to be working on in this flower bed and i want to go ahead and get get that started so this is the area with the nepeta cat's pajamas nepeta and the deer they don't mess with those so that's how do good. you think it would look better this way this way I think like that kind of looks cute. Way. Like the catty cornered? Catty cornered like that? Yeah, I like that. Last year we had one of the big trees there. Mm hmm. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay. And we definitely need to weed this flower bed. Should I come out this far? Yeah, that'll be right good. Here. Probably right in there will be good. So we connect, connect all those. Yeah, so we'll connect from here to here and then all the way up through here. We may have a little bit of looseness on the line, but we can maybe try to tighten it. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to do one more. This yeah, one I'm going to do in the middle. Okay. Yeah, this isn't that strong, so we may have to come back eventually and put something else on it. Mm-hmm. What's to be floppy? Oh. Uh, that line. Oh, okay. If you hold it that way, then yeah, it actually it'll be pulls tight. that line. Yeah. I think we just have very soft dirt right here. We do. It's very sandy. Okay. Hold on here. You know, I could always also put like a couple of bricks right here. Yeah. To kind of hold it down, because we have some bricks in the backyard. <laughs> okay. 
our deer are going to have a treat tonight, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're going to say, what the heck just happened to our salad garden? <laughs> Those things are so dull. There we go. And then in the winter when everything dies back, we could really take this down if we want to. Yeah. I wish we could just train them like, hey, don't come in this area, and then they wouldn't come back. Oh, there's so much other vegetation they could be chewing on. Yeah. Let me show you all the vegetation. Plus, we have farm fields everywhere around here. But I think they just like our stuff. Our stuff tastes better. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so let's do a quick little walkthrough, and we'll show you what we did. So we started uh, with this pole, and then we have two lines running through here. And really, you can't even see them. If this doesn't work out with it being too low, then we may have to add some of the higher pieces of lattice. And then we go all the way back here. We have four lines through this area. So this is all protected on this side. Now as we walk over here on this side, we are connected to the post here. And then on this little post here, this is just a little flag holder. That actually works out pretty good. We actually have another flag holder in the back that we could use too if we need to. And then we've got three lines running through here it does kind of get a little saggy right through there so we may want to add a little bit more support and then as we go through here we've got the three lines as well going towards the garage we're going to add a couple of little bricks here to help hold this up So I know this wasn't the most exciting video today, but I hope it helps you if you're having the same problem that we're having with deer eating all of our plants. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have the same kind of problem. And also let me know if you've decided to try this method with the fishing string to see if you can keep the deer out of your gardens too. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye friends.